G'day, I'm Ben Dobinson from Dobinson's. Uh, I take care of all the research and development uh, for our suspension and accessories. And I'm just gonna give you guys a quick rundown on our MRA shocks, um, some of the components in them, and uh, some of the materials and stuff we've gone with to really make sure that they're the best shock we can offer. So looking at the uh, compression adjuster, we went through around 15 different revisions to get something that we were happy with. So there's quite a few criteria that we needed to meet to make sure that we get everything we can out of these shocks. So we wanted to make sure that we got nice pressure balancing across the different chambers in the shock, make sure we're not over and under pressurizing different chambers of the shock, which can give undesirable effects. Uh, we wanted to make sure that we had a really nice adjustment range. Uh, we wanted to make sure that the adjusters adjust nice and evenly and smoothly across the range. And then we also wanted to make sure that the adjusters themselves um, work in conjunction with each other so that you get separate adjustment on both of the adjusters without having to affect too much the other path. So, so for the high speed adjustment, we settled on a shim style uh, high speed adjuster. So that's a full shim stack design, not just one of the orifice designs. Uh, and then we worked on a separate bleed path uh, to work in conjunction with that for the low speed. So what we ended up with in the final design is basically an adjuster that gives us a really nice adjustment range, a, quite a large adjustment range. Uh, we got the two separate paths that work well together but can work well separately as well. Uh, and then we also ended up with the, the adjusters where we were able to take away some damping from the main piston, um, which basically helps to uh, distribute the heat a little more evenly in the shock. So now as we're doing some more damping on the, the compression adjuster as well as the main piston, we can run some slightly lower gas pressures. Again, that reduces friction, reduces seal wear. So many benefits in the adjuster. Um, and it really works well on these shocks. It gives you a really nice feel, um, and it only takes a few clicks on these things and you can really feel the difference in the truck. So looking at the rebound adjuster, um, one of the critical things we looked at when doing the rebound adjuster was shock travel. Uh, not too difficult to build a rebound adjusting device into the shock, but the critical thing is not sacrificing travel. So it travels everything. The more travel we can have out of the same size shock absorber without extending the bump stops or moving up shock towers and that sort of thing. The better travel we can get out of the shock, the better we can get the ride. We can run a softer shock with more travel uh, and, and that gives us great results. So um, again, with the rebound adjuster, meeting that criteria um, was quite difficult, but we sort of settled on a design for the rebound adjuster that is, works really nicely, gives us a really good range again of rebound adjustment, gives us nice smooth increments but critically it didn't sacrifice too much shock travel. So with the design we've ended up with here, we only lost two to three millimeters on the shock travel compared to our normal MRR shocks. Um, some other ones out there, you'll be losing 50 and 60 millimeters of shock travel. So really spent a lot of time working on this and it's quite a unique design um, up to what's already out there. So looking at the damping and the shocks themselves, uh, we spent years working on this damping to get it just right. So. So many different customers out there, all different aspects. Um, and to be able to ensure that we meet all of their different requirements um, was really critical and getting all the adjusters right for the compression and the rebound, as well as getting the, the baseline damping right as well. So um, with the amount of adjustment we can achieve on the compression and the rebound circuits, we can do huge, huge amounts of damping changes. Uh, and get that really dialed in for, for what every customer is chasing. So we spent hundreds of hours on dynos, out in the tracks, out on the dirt, just testing and testing. Um, the dyno is fantastic, but it kind of only gives you half the picture. You really got to get out there and, and see how that feels and how that drives. And, and when you're making changes, you can see them on the dyno, but you really want to feel how that changes in the vehicle. So we spent a lot of time to make sure that we can give the best possible ride, handling, safety, and adjustment for, for all different customers.